What is going on squad? Now you know that we can't just make a video called most overrated ISO chain exercises and not have one for underrated. There's a lot of underrated ones. So I actually struggled to keep it within five. So we're going to go with the top five most underrated ISO chain exercises. That means you're gonna get a lot of bang for your buck with these. Let's get into it. All right guys, the first one right off the bat is the finger hold. The finger hold is really good and here is why. So we often neglect how important our hands are if you are a hybrid lifter on the channel and you have struggled with really taking your deadlift to the next level in the weight room and you find that it's not really the weight that's stopping you it's just that the bar keeps slipping out of your hand no amount of chalk is is helping you know you go for straps as you really want to evolve from straps and just go to straight up here's the grip you know sometimes you're going for reverse so, and it's slipping out of the mixed grip it's because your grip is weak and to be honest most people's grip is not good that's just something across the board and this is not an attack it's just it is what it is i've noticed it a lot with my clients i've noticed that it's easy for me to forget to program that in every once in a while it's like why am i struggling with this lap pull down <laughs> that's why oh i kind of neglected the grip on this program it's time to cycle those uh, captains of crushers back in like in description with the finger hold we're getting a lot of bang for our buck and we're strengthening up the tendons ligaments and muscles in the hand we have a lot going on in our hands and very often they neglect neglected think about it when's the last time that you saw somebody in the gym doing wrist curls the weight roller where you got to roll the weight up the string and then return that that burns you don't even need that much weight all right to really strengthen up the brachial radiales yeah for sure yes but also the hand muscle now with the finger hold we're also going to get the traps and a little bit of the upper back complex but it's primarily for grip if grip is your issue yes the seated wrist curl is good on the iso chain but the finger hold it's great as long as the form is good and we're focusing on really pulling up with the hands i mean you feel the stretch watch that number go up commit to that for 30 days and watch all your other lists, literally all your other lists on the chain go up because we have to hold the bar, right? The next most underrated exercise is the shoulder front raise. Now, a lot of people just automatically go to military press. You know, military press is a tried and true for shoulders, building up big, strong shoulders. You want boulders for shoulders, right? You want the veins popping out. All right, I'm done flying. What if I told you that working on the front delt specifically would really help with your sculpting? Okay, so here's the front delt right here, right? So if we really focus on strengthening up the front delt, and really bringing up the iso chain bar and this is this applies to weightlifting too you know so we can have the dumbbell and barbell up performing the front raise on the iso chain is just as it's it's the reason why the dumbbell front raise the dumbbell lateral raise and the rear delt are all important and we just don't do military press all the time it's because those exercises really flesh out and target the specific muscle group in this case the front delt having a strong front delt is going to help a lot for incline presses they're going to help a lot for any type of bench, not just incline, assist with shoulder presses. And most importantly, we're getting a double up on strengthening our shoulders. We could keep going with different variations of shoulder press, um, different chain length, seated, standing, whatever. But when we add a different exercise that targets the same musculature, our body's like, ooh, that's a different way. Ooh, I think I'll grow a little bit more because of that. It helps. I'm telling you guys, if you don't do the front raise, you definitely add it in, cycle it into a uh, routine for 30 days. See what happens to your overhead press numbers. See what happens. I I'll wait. Comment down below your, your results three it's the straddle lift have you seen the straddle lift here's what it looks like you have the bar in between your legs and you're pulling up straight i really like this exercise because it's really good at targeting spinal erectors the quadriceps the hams and the glutes we're getting some upper body action primarily posterior chain but if you haven't done the straddle lift and you want a little bit of a different exercise that'll hit your leg and you're just tired of doing a deadlift give the straddle lift a chance this is another one where the numbers are usually going to be about mid-tier to high like the deadlifts and the uh the hack lift small side mention i was going to put the hack lift on here but I feel like more people do know about the hack lift. But if you don't, comment down below. I could go into that exercise in depth. That's actually a really good exercise. Number four. To be honest, I wonder if anybody could have predicted what I'm about to say. 
the plie squat. The plie squat is a variation of front squat. So you're gonna need to be set up like this. I'm actually very familiar with plie squat because I was forced to do plie squat for a couple of years after I messed up my knee in 2017. My body just wouldn't allow for traditional shoulder width heat positioning for the traditional barbell squat. So in, in order for me to hit higher numbers, I was forced to take a wider position in my barbell squats and go plie every time. I was able to hit a 405 plie squat before things went really south with my back. <laughs> Having that wider stance was perfect for me. If you want to work on your inner thigh, the plie squat is a very good variation of squat to perform. I actually have my clients do the uh, dynamic version uh, to great effect, so highly recommend doing that. Only thing I'd caution people about on the plie squat and the iso chain is because it's a squat and it's usually high forces, and in order to perform the exercise on the chain, your feet have to be as wide as possible. They're near the edge of the plate. You might experience a little bit of base plate warping. So if you have a custom setup, you might wanna have something really heavy by the spring so that it doesn't kind of warp like this and it keeps everything flat. Otherwise, fantastic exercise. I really like the plie squat. And the last one. Okay guys, are you ready for this? I never thought I would be saying this. The sissy squat. Have you guys seen a sissy squat before? So the sissy squat on the ISO chain looks kind of funny at first. I have a video on it, so if you haven't seen the setup and uh, what it looks like, here's a link right here. Go ahead and check that out. It is one of the best ways. I, I know, it sounds weird, right? It's one of the best ways to black your quadriceps. If we look at the image here, right? Look at the image. We have the ISO chain model bent forward. Now his chin is still up, but we have a double overhand grip and he's on his tiptoes. The fact that he's forced forward means that if he wants to elevate himself or attempt to in any way, what's going to be the first thing that takes tension in that setup? You can see it, it's it's obvious, it's the quad. It's the only thing that's sticking out. So if he's trying to push up, he's going to get a tremendous amount of pressure, a tremendous amount of burn in the quadriceps. I've done this before. I do like to do this exercise. It's a fantastic exercise to throw into a 30 to 45 day rotation. It's something that you can feel immediately. 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 If you are really looking to take the explosiveness of your front squat in the in the weight room to the next level, you should do the sissy squat. Give it a shot. Give it a shot. If you really want to feel how much tension it gives your quads, put your sissy squat on a hypertrophy hold for 30 to 45 seconds. Or if you're insane or just some type of masochist, <laughs> Do an endurance hold with the sissy squat. It, it is absolutely insane. The name doesn't do it justice, y'all. It is a fantastic exercise. How many times did I say fantastic in this video? Comment down below. But it is, it's really good. It's underrated. We don't talk about that enough on the channel and we need to. That's on me. So we it'll definitely be in more videos in the future. All right guys, but what do you think? Maybe your top five most underrated iso chain exercises are a little different from mine. Maybe your list is different. Maybe yours would have been involved the abdominal crunch. I was gonna throw that on here, but the sissy squat honestly deserves a higher spot than the ab crunch in my opinion. All right guys, but what are your thoughts? Go ahead and comment down below. Uh, if you liked the video, be sure to drop a like. And if you're not yet part of the squad, hit that subscribe button, come join the squad with us. We also have a Patreon, a pledge of a dollar a month that really helps your boy out. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video.